All right, what's up you guys? This is that rabbit guy and just gonna give you guys an update. What's my plans for today? Spent the afternoon painting my calipers and rotor. Savage. Fuck you if you don't like it. I think it looks amazing. Everybody who's seen it likes it as well. I need to find the roll big time. The fender's eating through my tire. There it is. As you can see, that shit sucks. But I painted my color for today in noise. Ready, me and my brother and a group of my friends are going to a show called The Face Off in Sebring. As you can see, my brother's <laughs> What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Car. He's partying out, guys, if you want to come and, and buy it piece by piece. <laughs> it's, it's for sale. <laughs> I want to show you guys how my calipers looked before. Uh, I thought they were more redder. I realized I needed to get a darker red to match the GTI trim. But see how it's all dusty? That's before, that's after. I know uh, some of you are going to be like, oh, why you painted over your rotor, actual rotor? Um, when you break, the actual pad is going to remove the paint for you. So after some a few days of braking, regular braking, it's going to look normal again. So no need no more paint on the rotor. So yeah. I'm going to add this GTI Racing emblem. I was thinking over here, but I realized that it looked retarded. So or not good, so I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna uh, start focusing on the back of my car because I've been neglecting it. Hopefully my my boy Greg will call me so he can fender roll, because I need it bad. It's funny because each wheel, each fender, it hurts, it's been hurting differently. Like over here, you can see a spot hitting pretty bad and I just peeled the paint off. Alright guys, so I basically finished the other side. Caliper. I did maybe three to four coats of just caliper red from AutoZone. Again, the reason I didn't cover up the rotor is because when you're driving your car and your pads engage, it's gonna scrape off the, the paint on the rotor. That's why, like, for example, when you're buying rotors online and, and they come out dyed, like a layer of black or gold, that comes off. So, it's the same process, but um, I just realized I left paper in there, so I'm going to have to pull it out. So, I'll show you guys my brother's car. Right now, he's fixing his um, headlights. They need to be added silicone, because he has coma fiber in them, so he took off his roof rack. And... He's also retinting his brake lights. The reason I'm not washing my car right now is because it started raining a little bit. But I noticed water was going inside my brother's headlight, where the headlights go. So I tried calling him and knocking his door. He's not here, I guess. So I just put um, a sweater and a shirt so his headlight socket and, and all the cables and, and important vulnerable cables won't get wet. So, yeah. All right, guys, this is my backyard, but I decided to with the leftover bright color for paint, I have maybe a quarter left. I decided to paint the headlight socket covers and the radiator reservoir cap and the washer fluid cap. I'm probably doing, I'm gonna do a numerous amount of coats just because uh, the more coats you have, the more it's gonna resist with the heat in the engine. So once I'm done, I'm gonna show you guys how it looked. So, I just finished doing another layer of spray paint on the headlight cups and the other cups. I wish you can, I wish the camera would pick up how red they are. They look orange, but in person they look more red. So, I'll try to edit the video so you can see how it really looks. But this is the brand of paint I use. So I recommend it for anything. Alright guys, after letting the paint dry, this is how everything came out. There's a few bubbles here and there, but it's fine. Yeah, on my next video, I'm gonna show you guys how it looks in the day because right now it turned dark. It's 8 o'clock at, at the moment. So, alright, guys, uh, thanks for watching and 
Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.